For patients with a fracture, several guidelines recommend low molecular weight heparin to prevent thrombosis. But head-to-head -head comparisons between low molecular weight heparin and aspirin, which is less expensive and easier to administer, are lacking. In this pragmatic multicenter randomized non-inferiority trial, 12,211 adults with a traumatic extremity fracture requiring surgery or any pelvic or acetabular fracture were assigned to receive thromboprophylaxis with either 30 mg of subcutaneous low molecular weight heparin or 81 mg of oral aspirin twice a day while they were in the hospital. Treatment could continue after discharge according to each hospital's existing protocols. The primary outcome, death from any cause at 90 days, was 0.78% in the aspirin group and 0.73% in the low molecular weight heparin group, with aspirin demonstrating non-inferiority but not superiority. A higher percentage of the aspirin group had deep vein thrombosis. The incidence of other secondary and safety outcomes, including non-fatal pulmonary embolism and bleeding complications, was similar in the two groups. The authors conclude that among patients with an operatively treated fracture of the extremities or any pelvic or acetabular fracture, aspirin was non-inferior to low molecular weight heparin in preventing death from any cause. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.